So, hello people, how are you going today? And my name's Glenn from Goomedy Coins and Banknotes. And today I have a lot of uh, non consecutive Bolivian 100 Peso Bolivianos banknotes. One thing I like to collect these are banknotes in bulk, I don't know, and also coins, just a lot of coins, have a whole lot of coins of the same denomination, it's just cool, same banknotes, have a whole lot of banknotes of the same denomination, cool. And these ones have an image of Simon Bolivar, which the currency is named after, and he was one of several military leaders that helped liberate South America from the Spanish. And here we have the coat of arms. Let's see if we can get close up, focus, focus. Yep, there you go. So the coat of arms has Bolivia. Looks like it has a llama, has the Andes Mountains, a palm tree, and the flags of Bolivia. There's a weird top of hat at the top. But I didn't research anything on the Bolivian coat of arms. Okay, so this one, 10E, is actually the uh, first banknote with these signatures and also with uh, the black serial numbers as the other type of issue actually uh, had red serial numbers okay let's put this down okay this was issued by Thomas de la Rue and it was issued in 1962 as you can see from the degree decree because all Bolivian banknotes have a decree that the government allows them to be printed and issued. Okay, we have the background, which is just a typical patination of that time, which is a bit hard to harder to engrave. We have small at the time it would have been micro printing Banco Central de Bolivia. Let's have a look at the background. Not the back, should I say? Here we have the Declaration of Independence. So, Acta de la Independencia de la Republica. So, the Act of the Independence of the Republic. And in this series with the black serial numbers, the engraving of this one here is actually pretty poor. So, if you get a banknote for a red serial number, you should be able to distinguish the individual features of the individual people and also the background wall with the paintings as well okay so this banknote was issued until probably um early 1980s probably 1981-82 and it was withdrawn because of hyperinflation in 1980 up until 1984 they issued like a hundred thousand Boliviano banknotes, so this would have effectively not been used. So it doesn't have any watermark, as you can see, it just has a security thread. And this was not the highest banknote, the highest banknote is like 10,000 bars, and it replaced the, um, the old Boliviano at 1,000 to 1. So this would have been equal to 10,000 old Bolivianos. And the last banknote in this series was a 13D. So 13A. And I have two different types of signature combinations. So I have uh, this guy here. But the president changed. Okay. So they have Bolivian banknotes from 1962. I hope you like them. I like them. Let me know what you think, please. And if you do like it, please give it a thumbs up. Bye-bye.